Scientists are testing a novel technique to deter poachers targeting endangered rhinos for their prized horns. As part of a pilot study in South Africa, researchers have injected small radioactive pellets into the horns of live rhinos. The goal is to make the horns radioactive so there is less demand for them on the black market. Marise de Clark reports from the UNESCO Waterbug Biosphere Reserve in South Africa. Three quarters is one of 20 rhinoceros in a pilot study in which radioactive pellets were injected into their horns. This two and a half metric ton bull has received the highest dose in the study by the Conservation Research Initiative, the Rhizotope Project. The goal is to make rhino horns radioactive to decrease the demand for them on the black market and to discourage rhino poachers who are trying to profit. Researchers are testing the rhino's blood to make sure the animals are not being harmed. We've all been looking and trying to find the silver bullet to stop rhino poaching and I think this could just be what we need to stop poaching in its tracks. It is a brilliant idea. James Larkin, who leads the internationally funded program, researched the radiation dose being used in the study. Spent two and a half years developing computer models of the animals and carrying out the tests and comparing these with results from the International Commission on Radiation Protection. Um, and our results compare extraordinarily favourably. Rhinos in Africa have long been targeted by poaching syndicates that feed the black market demand for rhino horns in Asia, pushing the world's five rhinoceros species toward extinction. Larkin says if finally approved, the technology would be more cost-effective than the current strategy of discouraging poaching by dehorning rhinos every two years. This is because rhino horns grow continuously. For Van Deventer, the rhino poaching situation is dire, so he's eager for the project results. Scientists hope blood tests will confirm that the animals are still healthy. Test results are expected in about two months. If funding permits, the technology could be offered to rhino owners by the end of this year. Marise de Clark, VOA News, Waterberg, South Africa.